Fed's going to begin a two-day meeting this morning. Ahead of that gathering, we have the results of the latest CNBC Fed survey, and our own Steve Leisman joins us this morning with the details. Mr. Leisman. Yeah, the, the story we're getting from the Fed survey, Andrew, is Goldilocks with two asterisks, trade and monetary policy. Let's take a look at monetary policy. We'll take a look at trade later on today. Uh, looking at a 90% probability of a hike in September, 100% probability of no hike this week. Uh, now, you see that how many rate hikes this year? 3.7. That's telling you that there's a 70% chance that they do that fourth rate hike this year. So we're darn near almost right up against that number four, four rate hikes coming. And that's up, by the way, from the June survey. So more policy tightening expected. And then there's the debate for next year, two and a half, which means we're halfway between two and three hikes next year. This is what's interesting to me, that the Fed will go above neutral 63% say so. Let's take a look now at our probability distributions here. I think that's the next screen. Is that the one, next one there? Yes, I believe it is. There we go. This is for 18. And what you see here is that everybody's pretty much decided on four with a little bit of risk of fewer and a little bit more. And now take a look at the probability distribution for 19. And what you have on the left side of your screen are the number of respondents and the bottom is the number of rate hikes. Pretty evenly divided between two and three with some risk going outward. A couple more uh, uh, screens I want to show you here. Uh, I think there's one, yeah, this is the outlook. They kind of go flat in 19 and 20 up to 2.9. So they still got a long way to go, but maybe not as far as previous hikes. hikes. And there's that long run rate, 3.3. And one consequence, by the way, um, of the new policies from the, from the administration is that long run rate has gone up quite a bit. It used to be, say, 2.3, and it's gone up almost a full percentage point. The idea that the Fed will go higher, and there's those numbers. Will the Fed go above neutral? 53% say yes, 43% say no. And I want to read you one quote of somebody who wrote in. Kathy Bastianic, head of U.S. Macro Investor Services at Oxford, wrote, the good news for the FOMC is they have essentially reached their dual mandate for full employment and near 2% inflation. The challenge is maintaining that nirvana, which means not tightening too much or too little. Peter Bookvar also writing and saying he doesn't think the Fed can do it.